Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, the 1st, April 1st. Now we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use a, a new deck that I have. We're just going to see what comes up for Monday now. When this is being recorded on the 31st. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may not be for you. What do we have for Monday? This is just an overall energy. We may read this at the end, or we may, may read this at the beginning. We'll just see whatever I am told to do. I don't know if I should just pick one. Well, there we go. Entrapment. Woo! That's a big one. Entrapment. Hmm. Definitely. We're going to go ahead and read it now. Entrapment. Somebody's feeling trapped. Probably by their own accord, huh? You have drawn this card because it is time for a shift in personal power. You are encouraged to take responsibility for your life and choose new ways of thinking that create change. The reality is that for you to make the changes you want, need, and desire, you need a system, daily discipline, and motivation. As long as you blame outside influences for any circumstances in your life, you're powerless. It's the government, your abusive background, the interest rates, the bank's fault, everybody's fault but yours. The system that, may ult that many ultra-successful people use is they read books every day listen to audios, go to as many seminars as they can, practice recognizing others' achievements, and form relationships with like-minded people. Ask yourself, are the people in my life building me up and inspiring me? If not, it's time to take charge and start making change in your environment. Your first step could be cutting out all negative media from your daily life. Another important action could involve changing your diet, cutting out sugar, food with MSG and GMO, and replacing them with fresh, organic vegetables. Take a moment and say the following statement to yourself, or even out loud. I am in control of my life. Nothing can affect me unless I choose to let it. My thoughts create my reality. Keep repeating this statement until you feel stronger. Eventually, you will believe it. It will help you to make new choices. Remember your words and self-talk are very powerful in altering yourself. Self-imposed entrapment. That is what this is. You are not trapped. You can change your direction at any time. That is what this is about. What do we have for Monday? Coming to terms with, you know, what you want your future to look like. That's what we have in tail. Or coming, whatever. What do we got? What do we have? April 1st. <laughs> this is the Eight of Swords. This is trapped. This is trapped. Mentally trapped. It's, it's, you could say that this is the same card. 
And this is somebody that's being dishonest with themselves. The justice reversed. You know, life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. But you have to be held accountable for your own actions. And this is somebody who, you know, doesn't want to own up, doesn't want to be held accountable for, you know, the actions that they take. Seven of Pentacles. This is investment. Hard work pays off. You notice in this card, this woman has grown her hair. It took a long time to do that. It took a long time for that shrub behind her to grow to its optimal beauty. Same with her hair. It took perseverance. It took time. It took nurturing. It took willpower as well to grow that hair. You know, there's good days and there's bad days. I'm sure on there's days when that hair looked like crap. But somebody stuck it out, you know, and found their discipline to not give up. This is the death card next to the hangman. Somebody has in a, been in a place of limbo. They've been stuck holding on to things that don't serve them, resisting change when change is needed. Death is change. It's a time of transition. It's a time of release. You must struggle through the pain of change. To be born again or to, you know, have a new beginning in your life. To have, go through the rebirth that you are meant to go through. Endings bring new beginnings with that death card, right? So there is something that needs to be let go. We have a major change that is going with on. Somebody's resisting it and that is what this is. Somebody's resisting change, you know. It's like they have to put in the hard work and be accountable for their actions that have led them to feeling trapped and stuck. So somebody is needing to put in effort to, you know, make wiser decisions. Somebody made a poor decision, you know. Two of Swords reversed. This is seeing the truth. And there's been somebody who hasn't wanted to see the truth. They've kept themselves trapped in some sort of lie. No crap. No, some sort of lie. You know, and now you have to make the decision. Are you ready to own up to it? Are you ready to accept the truth? Are you? That's the question here. You have a choice. Somebody has been through some serious emotional tor turmoil, you know, want, not wanting to own up and it's time to own up. You are in control. Nobody else is. You're in control of your actions. You're in control of your success. You're in control of your life. You're in control of your mental state. The minute you say, no, I'm not, is when you lose your power. Ace of Swords, reversed. Inability. This is like somebody who doesn't want to see the truth or somebody who, you know, is just totally giving away their power because this is the sword of power. You have to cut out what doesn't serve you. There's your tool right there. You just start cutting it out. Get rid of it. Whatever doesn't serve you, goodbye. If somebody hasn't been using their power, they've given their power away to their own thoughts, to their own <laughs> mental trap. And it's your own. But the problem here, as we read at the very beginning, is blaming others. Oh, it's, it's out of my control. No, it's not. 
Two of Cups? Interesting. Right under this investment card, this is the Seven of Pentacles. You know, may take time, may take, maybe somebody is investing in a new relationship and they're not getting the answers that they need or they're feeling that, like, you know, it's not, it's taking too long and there's good days and there's bad days, but I'm here to tell you that your investment will pay off in the love arena. Queen of Cups reversed. Underneath that death card. This is emotionally... You know, you may be feeling emotional. You may not be able to master your emotions at this time because you're going through so many big changes in your life. Maybe a little, maybe a little intense. Somebody may feel like they're 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 a victim. This is victim mentality. You know, they're a victim. They can't accept this change. You know, I can't allow this. Whatever. We have somebody here that is probably not. Hmm. Let me get some more cards. Some. This is conflict. Five of Wands. Somebody is very conflicted about all their feelings, right? Somebody is really in their feelings. Absolutely. Conflicted. I mean, think about it. It's right underneath the hangman. Somebody is really, you know, dealing with a lot of inner conflict about the changes that they are experiencing or the changes that are ahead, knowing that there's changes ahead, big ones, and the, the inner conflict of, you know, letting go of what was, letting go of the injustices that have been served, whatever. Um, thing is, I mean, this is these are both about a decision. So somebody has been needing to make a decision in regards to what no longer serves them, and they may have been in denial and... For quite some time. I mean, somebody has been in denial in avoiding the truth because of, you know, I, I'm stuck here. You know, this is stuck. I'm thinking I'm stuck. It's, it's That's your own mentality. You know, you're not stuck. You're not stuck. You're not stuck. It is a time of transformation, okay, with that death card. It is. It's time to get unstuck. It's time to break free from your own mental barriers. You got to stop lying to yourself about whatever it is. And, and it's self sabotage here. Somebody has been lying to themselves, and that is the truth. And you don't have to like me. That is what we have here. And they may have been lying to themselves about a partnership. Maybe they've invested so much time and energy in it, but it's not working. You know, it's, and maybe it's time to make that cut. I don't know. It's time to face this struggle with the hangman. It is. It's time to look at things differently. It's time for a new outlook. It's time for a new approach. It's time to stop stubbornly holding on to what isn't serving you. And that is no joke. Whether it be your weight, whether it be a person or a job or, or whatever it is. Family, if somebody's holding you back because of their ideas, you know, what they think is right. No. You allow yourself to be a victim of other people's circumstances. You choose your path. You choose your new beginning. See the path? It's up to you. Endings bring new beginnings, but you have to release first. Something may need to die so that you can begin again. I mean, that is the death card. Somebody has been resisting change because of, why? This is the Three of Swords. This is the pain, this is pain. 
This is three of swords. It's okay. This is pain. This is a cut. This is a this is a stab right in the heart. Okay. It is. I mean, stab right in the heart. I mean, right in the heart of that flower. It's painful. Somebody is dealing with some pain. They're dealing with some sorrow, some heartache, some grief. It looks as though, you know, four of cups reversed. It's time to, it's time to be happy again. It's time to uh, follow your heart and leave the pain behind. Perhaps it's time to start building a new foundation and get unstuck from that old way. So I really feel as though we have somebody that is really conflicted about starting over, that's conflicted about going down that new path, but it's like they want to. Yeah, Eight of Cups reversed. thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, taking more time. Somebody is thinking and thinking and thinking about a new partnership or they're thinking about a partnership of the past, whichever way it is, and they're thinking about, you know, investing or not investing. This is thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking about a new beginning, thinking about change, thinking about this transition, thinking about opening their heart. Hmm. Seven of Cups reverse. It's like they're about a, in a decision. It looks like a decision is close to being made. Somebody is is definitely I think somebody is thinking about accepting or making a new This is the Four of Cups reverse. This is like I think accepting a new offer that's been offered really accepting it you know letting go accepting the ending the pain you know and opening their heart nine of cups reversed lack of wish fulfillment lack of abundance Somebody's not happy with their current circumstances and they have the power to change it. Hmm. All they need to do is bring closure. <laughs> they need to bring closure within them. They need to you need to bring closure. Don't expect don't expect anybody to bring it for you. You do the work. Period. There's another opportunity here. There is. There's another opportunity for a brand new beginning with that death card. But somebody needs to look at it positively and they need to get unstuck and they need to, you know, stop battling back and forth, back and forth with, you know, moving forward or, or going back, moving forward, going back, moving forward, going back. It's the time to make a decision as to are, are you ready? Are you ready for this new beginning? Are you ready for this change? Are you ready for this rebirth? Because that's what we have here. So I really feel as though somebody has been in an unhappy state of mind. They've been in an unhappy situation. And now they have this choice to make. They, they have this choice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So I feel like somebody is in the process of making a decision. They have been thinking about it. They've been thinking about it for quite some time. Now we have this decision being made. Um, perhaps to, you know... This is the page of swords reversed. This is somebody who can't really speak up. Hiding in the background. This is somebody hiding in the background who doesn't have the 
the balls to speak up. So, hmm. Knight of Cups reversed. This is somebody who is, is afraid. This is somebody that is afraid to, to open up emotionally. May feel like they don't have enough to offer. We have somebody that is observing in the background and may feel like they don't have enough to offer. That's why they're stuck. They may not have enough. This is the Knight of Swords. This is the page of wands. This is the page of swords. This is bad news. This is somebody who is a Debbie Downer, somebody who thinks negative, negative, unhappy thoughts. This is the one that, that can't speak up, wanting to, but can't do it. No, like I said. We have somebody here that is not taking action because they don't have the confidence to do so. They don't. It's like they want to, but they don't have confidence. They need to step outside of their fears and allow change. It's like, this is lack of confidence. Okay, this is. This is um, not giving not receiving, or maybe there's fear of rejection, fear of, you know, not getting what they deserve if they follow their heart. Maybe they feel like they don't have enough to give. I feel like we have somebody here that wants change, wants a new beginning, but they really lack self-confidence. They lack... They're trapped in their own thoughts. They have an ability to start over. They have, a, they have an ability to you know, probably get into some sort of partnership with somebody, but there's so much lack of self-confidence here. This person feels like they don't have enough to offer. But what's going to happen? Somebody needs to take ownership. That's what needs to happen. Nothing will change until somebody sees that they're keeping themselves trapped and it's time for a new beginning. That death card, endings bring new beginnings. We have a major change that is waiting for you to take it. Just take it. Somebody is reluctant to move on. They're reluctant to take a new approach because of what they've known in the past. And it's all because of those thoughts. This is thoughts. There's an opportunity to bring balance and harmony back to your life and to just, you know, be at ease, but you have to allow it. You've got to stop resisting it. Somebody's been resisting change because of fear, and it's caused a lot of balance and unharmony in their life, and it's because of their own thoughts, and they have to cut some things out that don't serve them, and they're trapped in, you know, in what was, and not wanting to be held accountable, and maybe maybe may some self-loathing going on, like, oh, this isn't fair, you know, and I do feel like there's some self-loathing. Maybe that's what you need to cut out. There's an opportunity for love here, but somebody is, like, not reciprocating as they could, because of fear of rejection, fear of not being enough, fear of not having enough, you know, fear of change. And there's an opportunity, there's an opportunity for, I mean, the two of cups, a, a partnership, a union. But the only way you're going to have this union is to face your fears about change. So that is what I have for today. I feel like today is a day of finding the confidence to invest 
and what you love. And don't let your negative thoughts hold you back. So yeah, that's what I have. I just opened it up to the hermit. This is this is becoming consciously aware. This is seeing the light. Going within to figure out what you want and where you're going and how you're going to get there. So that's what we got going on. Somebody is going through some sort of awakening and they're going through some sort of, it looks to me like planning, figuring out how they're going to break free from these mental traps that they have imposed on themselves. And heading down a new path. This is finding closure. So yeah, that's what I have. I mean, there's nothing more to say. Good luck. Uh, good luck with your new life. Good luck with your new beginning. Good luck with your new chapter that is about to start. <laughs>